So is the human rights situation any better now than it was under Mugabe? My guest today made headlines in 2016 when he sent the former president, Robert Mugabe, a rather provocative birthday present. It was a prison uniform marked crimes against humanity. He was suggesting Mugabe should be jailed for human rights violations. So the activist Nkosilati Moya joins me now. Welcome to DW News Africa. We're talking about Zimbabweans celebrating independence, 39 years of independence. Would you say Zimbabwe is a free country today? Oh, thank you for having me here, Christine. Uh, this day, the 18th of February, is a very important day in Zimbabwe. This is the day we are supposed to, com to commemorate or to celebrate our Independence Day. This is a very important day where we also salute and honour the contribution and the sacrifice made by those who fought in the liberation struggle. Yeah. But it is also the day which makes many of, uh, of Zimbabweans today quite sad, looking at the Zimbabwe that we have today, because there's very much little left to, to celebrate. Mm. We, we, it's, it's called an independence day, but there's no liberty and there is no in independence at all. So that makes it a sad day. You say there's no liberty, and you've brought with you uh, your latest book. Uh, it's titled Dismantling uh, the System of Mugabeism. In Chapter 9, you talk about Zimbabwe needing to be liberated from ZANU-PF. Elaborate on that. Well, in this book, Dismantling Mugabeism, I penned this book uh, uh, soon after the, uh, the military coup which overthrew uh, President Robert Mugabe in November of 2017. And we, we were so excited and the euphoria was so high. Yeah. But later on, we realized that we changed the face of the uh, oppressor. That can even date back to the colonial era. The only change, the color of the oppressor. Smith was an oppressor. We got Mugabe an oppressor. So I realized that we are uh, getting it wrong because we are changing the faces of the oppressors, not the entire system. So by dismantling Mugabeism in, the, in this book, I'm arguing that, yes, Mugabe is gone, but the Mugabeism, it's a culture. It's a, it's a system with tentacles mm -hmm. like an octopus. So we need to dismantle the entire system yeah. so that we can, we can uh, be able to establish new political uh, structures which right. can e enable Zimbabwe to really see meaningful change that we anticipate. Right. You have been going around uh, in Europe and, and you, you've been bringing the plight of the human rights situation in Zimbabwe to people here in Europe. What don't we know about the human rights violations that are taking place in Zimbabwe right now? The situation in Zimbabwe is uh, moving from actually bad to worse. I would want the international community, I would want the world to know that there are many untold stories, untold gross human rights violations, especially which happened in mid-January of 2019. The beatings, the torture, the rape, and arbitrary arrests and killings uh, of, of, of civilians with the army using live ammunition on civilians. There are a lot of gross human rights violations which happened, which are not told. The internet was blacked out, so I feel uh, this is a story which needs to be told. These are violations which need to be investigated. Up to this day, they are not told because people are afraid. Some are just getting out of, of prison on bail and, 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 and things like that. So many of these violations remain un untold because of the intimidation, because of the repression which is underway. All right. Zimbabwean human rights activist Nkosi Latimoyo, thank you. Thank you.